Okay, so guys, I want you to use this as um, our carbon cycle. The main reason, there's loads of different carbon cycles, but the main reason I want you to use this is because this is what we'd use as well in Leaving Cert. So you may as well learn it now and you'll have it then, do you know? So, you know, if we were in school now, I would have cardboard cutouts and this would be, they'd be the, the, the six cutouts, if you like, or the skeleton of the carbon cycle. So we would have carbon dioxide, Actually, um, I should change that to in the air, okay? So carbon dioxide in the air would be this box up here. And then underneath you'd have bacteria, animals, and green plants. Now, normally I would say bag for that. How is that going to help you? Would well, B for bacteria, A for animals, and G for green plants. So just remember, bag goes across the middle of your carbon cycle. Then D-O-M stands for dead organic matter. So dead plants or dead animals. And then finally, you, you know, fossil fuels. So will you try to learn the six boxes first? Because if you are asked in the exam to draw the carbon cycle, that would be the first thing you would do. You draw out your six boxes. Now, I'm just hand drawing this here, but you can draw it a bit neater in your, in your notes with your ruler and whatnot. So there are the six boxes. Okay. Now, from the PowerPoint, you'll learn that there are processes that take carbon dioxide from the air and that there are processes that give back carbon dioxide um, to the air, okay? Now, the main process that we have that removes carbon dioxide from the air, it's important that you differentiate processes that take carbon dioxide and processes that, that give carbon dioxide back to the air. So the main one that takes carbon dioxide from the air is photosynthesis. So you could write that label there now, photosynthesis, okay? Now, the main process that returns carbon dioxide to the air is respiration. So respiration is where the plant will use the glucose that it has made during photosynthesis and, and, and produce energy, but it also produces carbon dioxide as a result. Animals respire, so animals will also return carbon dioxide to the air and bacteria respire as well. So will you also write in the label there for the arrow, respiration for bacteria. So photosynthesis takes carbon dioxide from the air but respiration of plants, animals, and bacteria return carbon dioxide to the air, okay? Now, we need to follow the carbon now that has been taken from the air and fixation, carbon fixation, is where you fix the gas form of carbon into solid. So when the plants take the gaseous or gas form of carbon dioxide into their bodies, they incorporate that as glucose and they build cells. They build plant cells using that carbon, using the glucose. They make proteins, they make um, fats, they make carbohydrates and they build cells with that. So the, the carbon now is a solid and has become fixed or incorporated into the plant. When animals eat that plant, so when the animal eats the plant, then the carbon in the plant cells become a part of the animal cells. Now, some of that carbon is going to be released as carbon dioxide as, 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 you know, during respiration, but some of the carbon is used to make new animal cells. So the carbon, some of it, becomes incorporated into the animal body as well, if you like, okay? Now, plants and animals die. And when they die, they become dead organic matter. Now, two things can happen to that dead organic matter. The bacteria feed off it, if you like, or decomposition, decompose, remember? So the bacteria will decompose or break down the dead organic matter. They use it as a source of food. It's food for them. Dead, a dead body is food for decomposing bacteria. They break it down, they respire, they produce energy from that dead organic matter, releasing carbon dioxide as they do so. Okay, but as they break up the body, the dead body, they will also release nutrients like carbon into the soil. And that's why sometimes you hear of people putting you know, you know, compost and that on soil because it's rich in nutrients that have been recycled or taken from dead bodies. Sometimes then, if there's little oxygen, the dead organic matter becomes buried under lots of gravel and rock and silt and, 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 and sea sometimes, and that's called making fossils or fossilization. okay? Fossil fuels. Now, Burning fossil fuels is the last arrow then that you need to put in there that returns carbon dioxide to the air. So combustion or burning of coal, oil and gas returns carbon dioxide to the air. So that's the cycle that we're trying to learn. Now, if anyone has any question today when you're